Hello everyone. Today's topic is CLAB and in this class we are going to prepare one detailed estimate of RCC Group CLAB. Okay. So in this question it is given that the clear span is 3 meter and the length is 6 meter. Okay. So this is the roof slab and in this direction it is of 3 meter and in this direction it is of 6 meter. Okay. The slab is resting on the beam, on these beams. Okay. This is the slab and this two are beam. Okay. If we cut it in this portion and see from here, we can see a section as this one. Okay. So, the depth is 12 centimeter and we are having two kind of main bar. That is, one is straight that is placed on the bottom and one is bent up. Okay. For main bar, we are using 12 mm die bar at 24 centimeter spacing and in the distribution bar, we are using 6 mm die bar at 18 centimeter spacing. Okay. The clear spun is 3 meter, but the actual spun of the slab will be 3 meter plus 15 centimeter plus 15 centimeter. That means the 3.3. And in the uh, in another direction, that is in the land portion, uh, the actual span will be, uh, actual length will be 6.3. Okay. In this figure, you can see the actual reinforcement placement. Okay. Uh, don't get confused because here um, dotted line shows the top bars. And the solid line shows the bottom bar. Okay. In this direction, it is 3 meter. So, we are going to place the main bar in this direction. Okay. And the distribution bar will be in the, will be in particular, uh, sorry, perpendicular. Okay. In the main bar, you can see this is the dotted portion. This is the solid portion and again this is the, this is a dotted, dotted, okay. So, we can recognize it as bent up bar because in bent up bar, one portion, one portion is in bottom and another is in the top. So, this is bent up, okay. The next bar is total solid line and this is in the bottom and this is straight main bar and we gave the bent up bar alternately okay so this is ultra bent up bar again this is straight straight main bar and this is bent up bar again this is straight uh, main bar and this is bent up bar okay uh, so these are the main bars and in this direction, we have placed the distribution bar. In the middle portion, we will place the distribution bar in the bottom portion. That's why you can see the lines are solid. But in the extreme left and right, you can see the bar in dotted form. That means in the extreme left and right, we are going to place the distribution bar in the top okay like some are in the like some are in the top and some are in the bottom see in this portion like before going to do the estimate try to visualize the drawing first then it will be very easy for you to do the estimating part okay so coming to the estimating part you need to prepare one table like this so uh, the first item of work will be RCC work. Okay. For RCC work, the length and breadth uh, we need to calculate. And I have already told you that uh, the actual length 
is 6 meter plus uh, 15 centimeter and 15 centimeter so the actual length will be 6.3 meter and the breadth will be 3.3 meter okay and we have the depth as 12 centimeter so multiplying all these four we can have the quantity as 2.495 so the next item will be steel bar and we are going to Calculate in two hand that is one main bar and the second is distribution bar. Okay, in main bar we have two kind. One is straight bar and one is bent up bar. Okay, uh, for uh, for the both we are using 12 mm die bar at 24 centimeter spacing, but we need to calculate the length and number separately. For the straight bar we have simply like this okay so main straight bar will be of this form so this is the length after deducting the cover from actual spun and we need to add the add the two length of two hook okay see the actual spun is 3.3 meter minus the cover plus uh, 2 into 9 into d that is for two hook Okay, the length is 3.44 meter and uh, see in this figure we are placing the main bar here but to place those main bar we have the whole length right. So we need to uh, divide the total length by spacing to get the number. Of course we need to uh, deduct the um, cover first clear cover okay and we have to add one and I have already told you this concept and if you're still confused then go to my previous class and see and after doing so uh, we get the number as 27 okay and we have the number the length and of course the weight per meter run is 0 0.89 okay this is in meter and this is in kg per meter okay meter meter cancel so the quantity uh, will be in kg right so multiplying all this three uh, we can have the quantity as um, 82.66 kg okay for bent up bars, uh, we need to add one additional length to the um, to the straight bar to the length of straight bar. But why? This is the straight bar, but the bent up bar will be of this form, right? The length is of uh, this, the length is same as. Um, Uh, the length is same as the straight bar but we need to add the add some additional okay why if we place this inclined portion if we place the inclined portion let me draw this here okay so if we drop this side here this is slightly greater than the base okay and this amount is additional and we need to add some portion for this additional length and from calculation we have the additional length as 0.9 d okay or all total you can add one depth as additional length and how come the one depth is 8 centimeter okay in this figure you can see the total depth of the slab is 12 centimeter but the reinforcement after placing the reinforcement that is the depth of bottom reinforcement is 10 centimeter that is cover is 2 centimeter here and 2 centimeter here so the depth will be 8 centimeter 12 minus 2 minus 2 so 8 centimeter so for additional length we can 
and one depth. So one depth as additional length to the length of straight main bars. That means 3.44 plus 8 centimeter and that will be 3.52 meter. Okay. As uh, the bent up bar we place alternately we don't need to add one to get the number simply we need to uh, deduct the cover from actual length and divided it by spacing so the number is 26 and by multiplying this three we have the quantity as 81.45 and this is the total quantity that is 164.11 kg and this is for main bar okay the quantity of main bar is 164.11 kg so the next will be distribution bar and for that we are using 6 mm dia bar okay in the central portion in this in the central portion we are going to place in the bottom that means bottom bar central portion 8 cm spacing and in the extreme left and right we have to place some bar in the bottom and some bar in the top that's why bottom bar two side and top bar two side okay from this figure you can see we have placed three in the bottom and three in the top in each side so the number will be three into two three into two but for bottom bar central portion how much length left two meter okay so two meter divided by spacing plus one and we have it uh, after calculation we get the number as 12 okay and the length will be actual length minus cover actual length minus cover plus two hook and this is 6.33 meter okay so we have the number length and the weight per meter run and multiplying all this three you can have the quantity as 16.71 kg similarly for bottom bar two side 8.36 kg and for top bar 8.36 kg adding all this three adding all this three to this quantity we can have the total as 197.54 and this quantity is for total steel bar quantity of total steel bar and converted it to quintal uh, it will be 1.974 okay. okay. that's 4 so round it up so 1.975 quintal okay so next will be abstract of cost abstract of cost uh, it's a simple table like item number item quantity and the ad new addition will be uh, rate which i have uh, taken from endeavor but in exam you will be given the sor you need to put it from there and multiplying the rate and quantity the amount will be this much and after adding this two, the total is this one like this much of uh, rupees is the total but this is not the final estimated cost for that we have to add five percent of for contingencies and work charge establishment after adding that portion we can have the grand total and this is the actual estimated cost. Finally, we need to prepare the schedule of bar and this is nothing but a table containing the description of bar and the actual shape of bending, length of each bar, number, total length and weight. Okay, uh, so you can have all this from quantity calculation and the main part will be the shape of bending okay the main bar main straight bar we have placed in the bottom part so the bending 
will be upward okay this is the shape of main straight bar and the length will be the actual span of the slab minus cover and the bent up will be of this form this is 45 degree and we have add additional length as um, 8 meter and which is one depth okay and this is 200 centimeter and the to the left and right we have 61 centimeter uh, distribution bar we have top distribution bar and bottom distribution bar but the the only difference is the in the bottom distribution bar the hook will be in the upward and the for top distribution bar the hook will be in the downward direction okay this is the end of this problem okay